Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Boca Cube. I designed Boca Cube when I was in Boca Raton in Florida while visiting George Miller and Roxanne Miller. So uh, Boca Cube was the result of a design challenge by Melinda Green. She asked me whether I could design a puzzle that has no symmetry whatsoever. So um, this is a bit hard because uh, when you want to have a viable twisty puzzle then um, adjacent pieces uh, or adjacent centers should be at the uh, same distance in order to make certain types of rotations possible. So uh, my thought was how many centers do I need? Well when you have a triangle and just three centers then you always have threefold symmetry. When you have four centers in a loop when it's a square you have symmetry but even when it's a diamond you have symmetry. So that was not good enough. So finally when you have five centers like in the Boca cube then uh, four of these centers um, they make a diamond shape and then the fifth center is ended like a triangle. So now we have finally something that has uh, no symmetry whatsoever and the puzzle is uh, pseudo doctrinaire pseudo doctrinaire means that uh, it's not fully doctrinaire when you make a move uh, like this then uh, um, the puzzle is no longer in its uh, uh, original shape but it's uh, pseudo because uh, whenever you turn uh, all the centers at their original uh, orientation then it's also back in shape. So it's probably not a very difficult puzzle, puzzle for people who know how to solve the Rubik's Cube but at least it uh, solves the challenge uh, by uh, Melinda Green. My question to you is about the name Boca Cube. I explained to you why I named it Boca Cube but there's another reason why Boca Cube is an appropriate name for this puzzle. Why is that? Thank you for watching.